To find the required area, we can do an integration of the curve of y equals the ln cube root of x with respect to x. However, this will involve the use of integration by parts which is not part of the Cambridge O-Level syllabus. For this video, you will be finding the area of the rectangle minus away the purple area. But first, let's simplify the equation of y equals the ln cube root of x. From the power law of logarithms, log x to the power of r to the base of a is equivalent to r times log x to the base of a, where r, which is the power, can be shifted to the front of the logarithm. In this equation, ln cube root of x is the same as ln x to the power of 1 third, and we can shift this power of 1 third to the front. Next, let's find the coordinates of the intersection point between the curve and x equals to 3. Replacing x equals to 3 into the simplified equation, we will get the y coordinates. To find the purple area, we will need to make x the subject of the equation. So multiplying by 3 throughout, we will get 3y equals to ln x, which is the same as log x to the base of e, as ln is a natural log to the base of e. Next, we will convert this log form to exponential form on the bottom left. x equals to log y to the base of a is equivalent to y equals to a to the power of x, where the a's are the bases for both the logarithmic form and exponential form. With the base of e, we can change this equation to x equals to e to the power of 3y. Next, we can find the area of the rectangle by taking the height of 1 third ln 3 and multiply it to the length of 3. The purple area can then be found by integrating e to the power of 3y with respect to y from y equals to 0 and y equals to 1 third ln 3. Simplifying the first part will give us ln 3. Now let's take a look at the integration of exponential functions where we integrate e to the power of ax plus b dx is equals to e to the power of ax plus b divided by a plus c. So integrating e to the power of 3y with respect to y will give us e to the power of 3y over 3 where the a is now a 3. Replacing y to be a 1 third ln 3 will give us 1. Similarly, substituting y to be a 0 will give a result of 1 third. By simplifying further, we will get the required area of negative 2 third plus ln 3 unit square in its exact form. And that's the answer for this question. Did you manage to get it right? Once again, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something again and see you in the next episode of Practical Math.